Hi, Scorpio. How are you, my loves? Scorpio, I have some messages from you, for you, um, from you, for you. <sighs> you don't know what direction to go in, do you, honey? All right, first, let's get over to here. You had some songs come up. You actually had three. Um, Bill Withers, Ain't No Sunshine, The Animals, House of the Rising Sun, and Kansas, Carry On, Way Wayward Sun. Ooh, two of those had sun in it, didn't it? Okay, that makes sense. The sun will come out. Scorpio, if you have someone trying to leave your life, yes, five of cups to the six of cups, and seven of cups is all about illusions, and that's in Wayward Sun, isn't it? It's funny how these things connect. It's time to let them go. It's time to walk away and focus on you now. Let them go. Let them lead their life. Six of Cups again. It's time to heal. Time to focus on you. And it's time to bring your dreams into fruition. The, score, the message that I got for you was moving forward. Freedom. Don't look at it as though you are losing something. It's up to you to make the judgment call, to be the magician, to turn this into something magical. All right? This can be a great, wonderful time for you. But you're feeling like it's a burden. There's the illusions again. You don't know which way to go. You're in your feels, broken hearted. Whatever this is, person or situation, it's time to let go now. It's from the past. It's time to move forward. Cancer card twice. It's time to move forward. It's time to be bold. It's time to take action for you. Ooh, what a tower that would be, huh? To figure out what you want, to come into balance with everything in your life, to create balance in your life, to have balance in all areas. Get out of your head. This is not a nightmare. It is a chance for you to come into balance with your emotions. Oh, to get rid of that devil, the devil energy. To get rid of the sadness. Look at that sadness. To get rid of this. And to start putting the work in. On yourself. This is my card of self-love. It is time to start loving on yourself. It is time to start focusing on yourself. You want to take action? You don't know where to go. You need a new perspective. Take a break. Look at everything that has happened before, before you move forward, before you move forward, you will be moving forward. What are you moving forward into? Yourself. You're going to go into introspection to find your truth, to find where your abundance is, to find your happiness. This causes conflict in you. Why? Because you're being called to come into alignment with your higher self now. Scorpio, I know that many of you are in a state of... You're not willing to admit it either. Of course not. You're Scorpio. You are in a state of... Hmm, we're going into a depression here. Okay, don't let, don't let that happen, Scorpio. This is meant, to, this pause that you are in right now, 
this pause that is coming up for you, whichever it may be, is meant so that you can change your perspective and have victory. All right? It is meant for you to go within and seek your higher self, seek guidance from your higher self. Let go of this situation, of this person, of this heartache from the past. Heartache didn't come up, but I feel this, it's a feeling of dissolution. Someone or something left. Scorpio, we know this about Scorpio. Scorpio has the biggest thing about abandonment. It's time to take action to heal this. To get out of this confusion. To let go of this Ten of Wands and to heal. Okay. What else do we have for Scorpio? Guys, don't forget to... <laughs> this is such a heavy reading. All right, we have the full moon eclipse coming up at the end of this month. What's going to happen? Healing. For a new cycle to begin. Let go so a new cycle can begin, okay? You're being called. Holy crap. Did you see that? I shuffled the cards. Patience. Patience. Alchemy. Change your situation. Change how you're viewing things. You feel like you're being punished. You're not. You will get news coming in about how to balance out over this broken heart and feeling left out. You will get information. Look at that. Come into you. And I'm getting through your dreams by being introspective. But it's your judgment call on what you do with it. Time for a new cycle, babe. Time for a new cycle. Okay, you guys have been through a lot. You have lost a lot. But it is time for a new cycle. Full moon eclipse at the end of the month. Let it go. Whatever it is that's trying to leave your life, let it leave. Okay, stop fighting this. All right, like and subscribe, please. Sundays, we have free live readings. And Thursdays is group meditation with a group reading. Join us. Time to create what you want now, Scorp. Time to move forward with what you want. Be careful of your stomach. You don't know what you want. You don't know, not just many of you that don't know what you want. Look at this. I don't even know what deck I want. It'll come to you. Don't worry. It's, it'll come. Life experience. A significant life event. A powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. And on the bottom of the deck, we got renewal. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Time to let go. Time to follow your dreams. Time to let the past go. Okay. Very heavy energy, Scorpio. Very heavy energy. But if that is not resonating completely with you, or as a side note, look at that. High Priestess, you know. Scorpio, you know. Okay, as a side note, good things are coming in. It is time to be you. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, and being a team player. It is time to get on a team and to allow others in. And I saw this earlier, unity. Traditional viewpoints and methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. 
you will be coming into contact with spirit. A new spirit entity is going to be entering your life to help you and to guide you forward, okay? And for some reason, what do I want? Which one? Oh, okay. Imperial Dragon Oracle. I never pull this one out. Moon card for Scorpio, please. Moon card for Scorpio. The Firmament, number 17, which is an 8. Let's read this. <sighs> heavy, 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 Scorpio. What are you doing to me? Traditional name is the star. Energy is the unending cosmos. Key meaning is hope. If there is an issue that concerns you, this card helps you to let those concerns go and stay in place of hope. And to stay in place of hope. The future is bright and filling with possibilities. Don't subscribe to any self-limiting philosophies exactly Everything is exactly as it needs to be, and all is well. The energies around you are all working in your favor. The sky is the limit. You have been limiting yourself, and it's time to stop that now. All right? Time to be gentle with yourself. Time to love on yourself. Scorpio. I really don't like giving this. This is so heavy. I'm going to have to go burn some sage. Um, guys, it's going to be okay. It will be okay. Whatever this is, it'll be okay. All right? If you need a reading, my information is down below. You guys know I love you. I will see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao. Bye.